Let's get started on your notes over translating mathematical statements. So today we're going to be taking verbal phrases and converting them to variable expressions and equations. So the first thing I want to go over are what are some key words that let us know when we need to add, subtract, multiply, or divide. So what words would let you know that you're going to be adding in your variable expression? Well, if you see the word sum, sum is an answer to an addition problem total that lets you know that you're going to add what else more than three more than four that's three plus four increased by five increased by two that would be seven or plus that's an obvious right three plus four that's seven what about subtract? What keywords would let you know that you're going to be subtracting? Well, if I see the word difference, what's the difference between 4 and 3? That's 4 minus 3. Decreased by. 4 decreased by 3. That's 4 minus 3. Minus. 4 minus 3. Subtracted from. 3 subtracted from 4, that's 4 minus 3, less than, 3 less than 4 would be 4 minus 3. What about multiply? What keywords would let you know you're going to be multiplying? Well, product. The product of 3 and 4, that's 3 times 4, which is 12. Times, that's obviously another good one, 3 times 4 of this is a really really good one okay a lot of times you see this with fractions if i take half of four that would be one half times four which is two okay so there's that of and what about twice double triple something like that but twice you see a lot twice a number increased by two well that means twice a number, two times that number increased by, well, that'd be over here. Okay, let's look at divide. So what keywords would let you know you're going to be dividing? Well, quotient. The quotient of 12 and 4. 12 divided by 4. The quotient of 12 and 4 is 3. Divided by, obviously. 12 divided by 4 is 3. And maybe separate. We're going to separate 12 into 4 groups or into groups of 4. How many groups would we have? We'd have 3 groups. Okay, so let's move on to some examples. And these are our basic examples that we're going to go over first. We're going to take these verbal phrases on the left, these 5 verbal phrases, and we're going to translate them into variable expressions. So I'm going to use x as my variable you can use any letter as your variable it just represents an unknown number we don't know what that is so we give it a letter number one the sum of a number and eight a number plus eight right because that's the sum what about number two the difference of a number and 17 well difference we're going to subtract the what, whatever's written first, that's what I write first. So a number and 17 would be x minus 17. Number three, the product of negative nine and a number. Product means multiply. Negative nine and a number. The quotient, what does that remind you of? Division, the quotient of 72 and a number. So 72 divided by a number. And then one-fifth of a number, one-fifth times that number. But you got to be careful because we've got these parentheses phrases and these turnaround phrases or where you're going to flip um, what you're talking about. So parentheses phrases, we're going to have parentheses in our expression. So four times the sum of a number and six. So I need to find the sum of a number and six, and then I'm gonna take that and multiply it by four. 
Okay, so that's when these parentheses phrases will come into play. The next one, seven times the difference between a number and five. So first I need to find the difference between a number and five, and then I'm gonna multiply that by seven. And then these turnaround phrases. You might have noticed um, when I was talking as we were going over the keywords, these turnaround phrases, less than and subtracted from, if I take 15 less than a number, or I say 15 less than a number, that means I'm gonna take that number and I'm gonna subtract 15 from it. Okay, so this right here is 15 less than a number. A lot of students wanna do this, 15 minus X, but it's not that way. Okay, that would be X or a number less than 15. This is 15 less than a number or four subtracted from a number. You've got a number and we're gonna subtract four from it. So we call those turnaround phrases where you just flip it around. So then here's some more difficult examples. Um, and some of these will actually involve equations. So let's get started on number six. The sum of twice a number and 15. Twice a number, okay, I'm gonna multiply two times that number, and then I'm going to find the sum of this and 15, 2x plus 15. The product, okay, multiply, of negative three and a number increased by four. Okay, so product of negative three and a number, and then we're gonna increase it by four. Negative three x plus four. Five, oh, less than three times a number. Five less than, okay, something minus five, right? Three times a number, three times a number, minus five. Number nine, three subtracted from, same thing, right? Subtracted from half of a number. Okay, three subtracted from something minus three. What am I taking three away from? Half of a number, one half X minus three. Number 10, four times the sum of twice a number and 18. Here we go, times the sum. This is one of those parentheses phrases, okay? Four times the sum, so four times something. What is that something? It's the sum of what? Twice a number, okay, 2x and 18. That's what that'll look like. Number 11, seven times the difference between, okay, same type of thing, seven times something. What is that something? It's the difference between 65 and a number. Number 12, the quotient of, okay, that's division, six more than a number and three. Six more than a number, okay? That's a number plus six, the quotient of this, and three. That's what that would look like. Let's move on to equations. All of these are expressions. What makes them expressions and not equations? They don't have an equal sign. So when we talk about verbal phrases and variable expressions, when you see this word right here, is, that means there's gonna be an equal sign there. So let's get started and hopefully you can see the difference between these down here at the bottom of the page and then the ones at the top. The sum of three-fourths a number, so three-fourths a number or three-fourths of a number, so three-fourths, of a number or a number and five, okay, there's some, right, addition, is 26. So the sum plus three-fourths a number and five is 26. So that is is my equal sign. Let's move on to the next one. The difference between, okay, what is that difference between? Subtraction. The difference between six and the quotient of a number, 
and 8 is negative 14. Okay, the difference between what? I'm going to subtract 6 and something else. Okay, so 6 minus the quotient of a number and 8. Quotient means what? Divide. I'm going to divide of a number and 8. So 6 minus x divided by 8 is equals negative 14. Let's move on to number 15. 4 less than triple a number. Okay, so something minus 4. Triple a number would be 3 times the number is 9. Equals 9. Okay, 4 less than triple a number is 9. Just translating this from one language to another. Okay, number 16, last one. Negative 5 times the sum of, okay, negative 5 times what? The sum of something. What is it going to be? Negative 5 times the sum of twice a number, 2x, and 1 is equals, oh, now we've got something on the other side. Negative 5 times the sum of twice the number and 1 is 6 less than the same number. Okay, there's another turnaround phrase. 6 less than, so something minus 6 than the same number. That's what that one's going to look like. And this concludes your notes over translating mathematical statements. I hope it was helpful.